Natalia with you again. I hope you find something new here, something you always felt right about, and I hope you are enjoying this channel. Today I will share one more tip for your business improvement. Many specialists I worked with found this information useful. This is what I always start with when it comes to business system analysis. We will talk about throughput and a bottleneck. Throughput and the bottleneck Throughput As in the traffic, in peak hours different roads have different capacity to allow maximum number of vehicles simultaneously. Roads with two lanes will have a less threshold than roads with six lanes. Some roads have more traffic lights, some haven't. There are some roads with speed restriction, such as 50 km an hour, and there are highways where cars drive 100 km an hour. Imagine that these roads are your business processes. You drive your business routine every day on several cars from point A to point B using the roads. All roads are reserved only for your business, connected with each other, they are different and make your cars move faster or slowly. When you send your cars every day to multiple or same routes, sometimes you are not using full capacity, because you are sending two cars every day to the road with six lanes. Using six cars on six lanes instead could make you get to the destination faster with more product, right? Also, if you send six cars and they all have to turn to two lanes road at the same time, they will get jammed. This is a throughput. Throughput is how many items can go through all at the same time in one specific process. In this case, first throughput is six cars. And on left turn, the second throughput is two cars. A bottleneck is the minimum number of throughput across all involved processes. A bottleneck is the narrowest section of the road that causes business delays. This is the narrowest road on your map, so you know where the cars will stop. In our case, it's two cars. The main idea is to find a bottleneck and maximize a throughput. Let's review a simple example. An accounting firm has four employees. A director has a primary discussion with prospective clients. After his meetings, he brings 10 clients per week to the firm. Then, assistant is communicating with the clients and obtains all required documentation. Assistant can approach and obtain all documents from six clients a week. Two accountants can start processing and send the result to the clients at the end. One accountant works with about three clients a week, another one works with five. This is how you start your first analysis and investigation. If director is bringing 10 clients and only 6 are being worked with, it means we make 4 clients wait and this is how we get a backlog. Ideally, the clients wait, but in reality, clients just find another service provider. Assistant is our bottleneck. Accountants cannot start working on clients' papers until all required documents are gathered. What are the options? Either upgrade the existing systems, or create universal list of requested documents, or maybe hire one more part-time assistant, or maybe the list of required documents is simply outdated and is pretty long for no valid reason. Also, we can see that both accountants have different number of clients served. I wouldn't worry in this case, as usually different employees have different capacity. But this also can give us ideas, such as maybe we need to conduct the training, or maybe the processes need to be unified. In other words, if someone is waiting, check the bottleneck. I hope this video will help you to find a bottleneck in your organization.